Good morning, guys. We are back down in the engine room and we're going to try to figure out what our overheating issue is. We've had a couple times when we have the boat running up at high RPM uh, that the motor starts running a little bit hot. Um, I'm going to show you some of the steps I'm taking just to make sure that our cooling system's not clogged up. So first up is checking the strainer right here. This is for the engine. I'm working on the starboard motor right now. I'm looking aft from the starboard motor. So uh, this is the engine strainer. The hose on the back side goes down to the through hull. Um, you need to also check to see if you sucked anything up on the through hull side underneath the boat. That, that is possible. I did find some uh, debris under there. Um, I did check this strainer out. You open this up, take those wing nuts off, open that cap, and there's a screen down there, which is actually glass. You can see that it's clean. There's nothing in there really clogging it up. So we're looking pretty good there. But it's a good idea to take that out and clean that out periodically also. So after the strainer, the hose runs down underneath towards the impeller pump. The impeller pump is over here behind that pulley. I had already checked that impeller. The impeller is okay and that was replaced. So the problem is not there. So I want to go a little further down the line to see if there's any other issues. So um, once the raw water gets pumped through the impeller, its first stop is back to the back of the motor to the transmission cooler. And the transmission cooler is this long tube here. You can see it's got a hose clamp with the water hose on that side and then on the other side. And then it has these fittings. This is the transmission oil. It goes back into the transmission. So raw water is coming from the impeller on a hose on this side, right here. It flows through the transmission cooler, cools the transmission oil, and then it comes back out over here. So first place you wanna check, I wanna pull that hose off on the far end, and we wanna make sure that on this hose here, you wanna check to see if there's any debris right at this point because um, if you were going to suck up any debris that actually got past the strainer um, or if it's an old impeller that may have broken off bits and pieces it's most likely going to be stuck on the inlet side of this transmission because you have um, small tubes that will not pass any large items you'll see that when we open it up and uh, i'm just going to hit it with a hose backwash it quick and make sure we don't have anything clogging that up Okay, so I loosen this hose clamp and we're going to pull this off and you're going to have some raw water come out, so be ready for that. Well, maybe not. Okay. Put that off to the side. Really can't see from this side myself, so let's see what the camera shows. Okay, so I dug my fingers in the end of that cooler and I pulled out these three large pieces. Those are pieces of an impeller from years past that have broke off an old impeller, probably before I had the boat even. This is the first time I'm checking this. So uh, we do have some evidence of blockage there. Not a whole lot, but we're gonna flush it with water now and see if anything else comes out. Okay, I got my water hose hooked up here. I just, I didn't have an extra length of hose, so I just wrapped some rubber tape around there just to seal up the hose. I got the on-off switch right here. And I got a small container, gonna try to catch whatever flows through. So let's check this out, see how this works. So I had uh, those large chunks of what I pulled out with my finger, but then you see all these small pieces that came out that were stuck in the tubes there. So I'm going to give it another good flush. Had a few more pieces come out. So, 
all those black things or what was in there. Okay, just flushed it again. Nothing else came out to speak of. So I think we're good there. We're gonna hook those hoses back up and move further down the system. All right, we got the hoses hooked back up. Now the outlet from the trans cooler, the hose goes under the motor, comes to the front here. This is the uh, flush fitting for uh, to winterize the boat. You can pump air through the system up here and it purges all the raw water out. But, but the water goes from the transmission through this hose, through this fitting. It snakes around the back here, comes up this way and goes in this port right here for the heat exchanger. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna see, I seriously doubt anything got pushed into here from uh, past the trans cooler. But we're gonna open up the cap here there's a, a gasket that comes around here. We're gonna open this up and see what the condition is inside here. I'm thinking it's gonna be in pretty good shape. This was a freshwater boat up until about a year ago, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I just wanna make sure there's no debris, and no blockages inside this heat exchanger behind this cap. Okay, there's the inside of the heat exchanger. That's the raw water side. So the raw water comes up through that orifice down here at the bottom and it flows through the heat exchanger, which doesn't look too bad. I don't see any debris in there really. Looking pretty good. Remove the back cap from the heat exchanger so we can blow air through the tubes and make sure there's no debris or any blockages. So it doesn't look too bad. A little bit of blockage there. All right, we're just gonna quick blow out these tubes with a little compressed air. All right, so we blew out all these tubes and you'd actually see the flashlight a little bit come through on the other side. So we look pretty good here. All right, so we got this all closed back up again. And what we did already do, I didn't get it on camera, we replaced the thermostat for the motor, which the thermostat is on the coolant side of the engine. So if you see back in there, there's two bolts that hold the flange on there where that hose is going to. Unscrew those two bolts and that fitting comes off and the thermostat is right behind there. It's very simple to replace. So I did that uh, off camera. But uh, just in case the thermostat wasn't opening correctly, um, now we could eliminate that being the issue for the motor overheating. And this is one of the new thermostats for this Spark Cruiser 6.2. 170 degree thermostat. Okay, here's our flush fitting that I had uh, remounted back here in the lazarette, so it's a lot easier to get to. So this flush fitting connects in line to just in front of the impeller on the motor. So I could hook up a water hose here with this flush fitting and I could flush the motor out um, to get any of the salt water out. So I'm gonna hook this up right now and just turn it on and flush some water through just to check the leaks and make sure I put back all the hoses and the, uh, the gaskets are tight enough so nothing leaks. That just snaps in there. Turn it on, water starts flowing. But one thing you gotta check, you need to close your through hole because the water is just going right through the through hole right now. So here, once I close that, It doesn't flow as fast, but it's just not free flowing. So let's go check the leaks. Okay, once the flushing is done, just pop it off and that's it. Seals it up. Nice and easy way to flush it. All right, so that's it. Just some basic checks to see if your uh, raw water intake system is clogged at all. Um, should be checked every so often, especially if you had issues with your impeller, as you could see. the. Uh, 
those chunks of rubber that get stuck inside the coolers. So uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to go any further with it. It looks pretty good. Um, we haven't overheated since we changed the thermostat. So uh, that was likely the issue. I probably had a bad thermostat. But um, it's always good to flush everything through. We'll see you next time. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Got a big trip coming up soon. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.